So I have my multi-rotor, um, and I know about the AMA and that there's all these flying fields, um, but I'm, maybe I'm a little bit nervous about going there. What, what do I need to know when I get to the field? Well, speaking of my personal experience, I also was intimidated by going to an airfield, and as I'm approaching it, watching these very talented people flying the aerobatic maneuvers, mm -hmm. and then I realized that the uh, the pretty accepting community, and, um, and they're very friendly, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's one of the first things that I did was I kind of sit back and observe, and then start asking questions. And you'll find that most of the guys out there will offer a lot of information freely, mm -hmm. and um, be glad to share it with you. So. You can start by observing, and uh, if you brought your aircraft, bring it out and let the guys look at it and take some tips from them on learning how to fly, and don't be shy about asking questions. So as I understand it, you, you guys train here at Super Pro Aerial. What can you tell us about that, the certification process and all that stuff? Well, as I said early on, when I, when I first started flying, I was intimidated by the whole aspect of going out with all these experienced folks with their very high-end aircraft. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't want to embarrass myself or become a hazard in the sky to some of these guys that put a lot of money into it. Right. So I recognized early on that there were no formal classroom instruction for basic multi-rotor operation. There was no structure to mm -hmm. learning how to fly safely and having steps to go through, including pre-flight, in-flight, post-flight, and maintenance record keeping. Mm -hmm. So we created a course here that's actually about two hours in length, mm -hmm. and it's a structured formal class. We also have a uh, written test examination at the end, and you must score 100% on it. And uh, any questions that you miss, we review until you actually get it right, so nobody fails. So you, you have to get 100%. 100%. Awesome. And you get a certificate of completion for a basic multi-rotor operation. And you also certify the aircraft itself. Yeah, we do technical certifications of the airframes. We recognize certain manufacturers, certain autopilot manufacturers, mm -hmm. certain component manufacturers. Those are pretty standard that we've identified as being reliable and uh, quality components. And then we go through every system on the aircraft, every subsystem, power distribution, connections, cables, wiring gauge, everything that puts that aircraft up in the air and keeps it safely in the air. And then we give you that information in a written form, written form mm -hmm. documented for you to be able to use. Now that certification is only good for about a year or to the next major crash. So these things are in the air, they're moving parts, so they do need maintenance. So we can come to you and get them maintained and get them checked. That's awesome stuff. Yeah, we can create a maintenance schedule based on the manufacturer's recommendations for motor bearings, lubrication. Kind of like a car. Yeah. Car service. Well, this is, you know, you got to consider anything that's up in the air will eventually fall out of the air. Absolutely. So you want to make sure that you're doing everything you possibly can to keep it safe in the air so that you have no catastrophic failures in the air. So why would I want to be certified? Why, why do I want to take a training? What does that do for me? Well, we've kind of geared our entire existence to the professional market, mm -hmm. but we also know that people start at the very beginning of this. And since the Phantom is the, like the most ubiquitous multi-rotor out there, mm -hmm. most people will come up with enough money to buy this to learn on it. But they don't know the first thing about flying it for motion picture television commercial applications. Mm -hmm. So they're learning on this piece of equipment. What's great about learning to fly on the Phantom is all the same skill set translates from that aircraft all the way up to the full size. What we've got is meter and larger aircraft, multi-rotor aircraft for carrying full cinematography cameras. Mm -hmm. So the reason we kind of created all of the certification and technical inspection checklist is geared towards the people who want to transition from the little hobby or consumer product all the way up into the professional market. And so we also recognize that every specialty in just about any discipline mm -hmm. has a certification process or certification programs and then cert certificates that you've achieved certain milestones or levels of competence. Right. So we're trying to get ahead of the power curve on that so that the FAA doesn't step in and start making arbitrary rules and regulations to govern what's become our industry mm -hmm. and making onerous on us so that we can't actually do this kind of work. So we're trying to get ahead of that by making structured informal um, inspections, mm -hmm. training, qualifications, and so that we can continue this industry.